can change, nigga. <laughs> I think not, cause I be on the same block. I love that <laughs> verse. Like, 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 when do you remember like what was going down during that time? Cause um, that was a long time ago, man. Um, I do, but I remember just being in the streets trying to trying to figure it out. Um, life was crazy, so we were just trying to, I guess. And when they, when they came, I was I kind of respected them and liked them a lot. So that was dope that we got together and did it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Check it, man. Simple Shockers in the building. How yes, you sir, doing? Yes, sir. Glad to be here, my brother. Glad to be here. Yeah. Man, yeah. I'm, I, hey, man, thank you so much for coming on the show. Mm -hmm. But just to be real with you, man, uh, thank you for everything that you brought to the game. I'm in Texas, mm -hmm. right? So when when uh, I, you know, I shouted you out about about a month ago, three mm -hmm. weeks ago, mm -hmm. about okay. players from the South Stack okay. G's. Yeah, I got yeah. on them boys. Yeah, I say Silk had arguably the, the hardest because I'm a Pimp mm -hmm. C fan. Mm -hmm. I say, but you came hard on that that okay. verse for me. Okay. I gotta go back to Silk to Shocker because you you're on that players from the South Stack G's. And Silk went in on that. One two three, you know Silk a G. All about that motherfucking mayo. I mean, yeah, you get one or two uh, songs. Silk went in on that. I love that verse. You don't know. You did your thing. So I'm just. Can change, nigga. I think not. Because I be on the same block. Like, like, when, do you remember, like, what was going down during that time? Because that was a long time ago, man. Um, I do. But I remember just being in the streets trying to, trying to figure it out. Um, life was crazy. So we were just trying to, I guess. And when they, when they came, I was I kind of respected them and liked them a lot. So that was dope that we got together and did it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I was looking at the fact of how like the process of did you write back then? People weren't punching in. You wrote that verse, or how did that go with with even making that? How was the process back then? I didn't write a lot, and we we couldn't really um, change a lot either. We had to like kind of wrap the whole thing because you couldn't really cut back in the days like that. So yeah. But I didn't write a lot though. You didn't. Nah, I never off the dome. Me. You know that's what they call hmm. it. Back, back, the back then, yeah. yeah. Off the dome. Off the dome for sure. Man, that's crazy. So when you when you look at like that time period, mm -hmm. that was a young UGK. That was mm -hmm. a young Master P. Mm -hmm. Um, you you definitely was uh that that was a time where I remember that time because, like I said, y'all did a couple of songs mm -hmm. together. You know, I was talking with Kale about mm -hmm. it. Y'all did another one. What was the other one y'all did that was big back then? God. Uh, it wasn't player from side. It was a uh, man because I me actually me and me and uh, Kale went we we it went crazy on my channel because he was talking mm. about the process of it and how mm. PMC had respected him enough to you know let him yeah. do his thing okay. even though he was a producer yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean mm -hmm. being a producer he stepped back and let Kale you know mm -hmm. kind of take the wheel on okay. on what was going on with it. When I say he is so unselfish, wow. I was on records, you know, like that he could have done by himself. Yeah. Just the fact that he knew that I was good at what I do. Yeah. He set back and not do it just for me to walk in and do it. Wow. Mm. But that was so long ago. I believe I believe Bob said it was a time when y'all they went into him and Pete went up there, but y'all mm -hmm. it was a thing where they went and recorded in the in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, about right. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Trying to isolate the sound. Yeah, yeah. Like, how hard was and it? And that was his favorite song too. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That was his, that was his favorite okay. song by UGK mm -hmm. and Shout out to KLC for sure. Dope, dope. Man, yeah. So, so we gonna get all the way into it though. How did you get a name Silk? It's a good question. Um, so, remember the group Silk? Mm -hmm. So I was just Silk with one K at first, mm -hmm. and then they tried to, they sued me. Mm -hmm. Really? And then they told, I said, uh, let me put an extra K on it. They was like, put that in. They was like, nah, that's not enough. And then my first album was called The Shocker. Right. Yeah, so yeah I put it of course. Still yeah. The Shocker. Okay, so Thank you, you Silk. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw that part um, when I Googled you. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, he got a Shocker after that, but it, I don't see anywhere where it said mm -hmm. how you got the name Silk at first. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Okay, You awesome. basically coming out the TV on that thing. What yeah. made you do that album cover like that? Um, just wanted to be something new, um, exciting. Now, that's The Shocker, that's what it is. Wow, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.